By the way, folks, whenever doing any of my uh, demonstrations, please have parental supervision. Um, not that this thing's going to take your eye out, but I don't want to take any chances. Okay, so that's why we wear. This is why we wear our glasses. Listen to me on my glasses. Put your glasses on. Put it on. All right, so we're here um, in Dead End Science Man's class, and uh, one of our classes we're discussing. Rockets. We're discussing rocket science. Some kids said to me, "Wait, this isn't rocket science." I said, "Yes, this is rocket science." Okay. Now we're trying to figure out some things about rockets. We were trying to figure out things about thrust. The idea that thrust is the motion forward, the object moving forward or up. That's the thrust. What creates the thrust? Well, what creates the thrust is some sort of propellant. The propellant is something that comes out of the back to give it that forward thrust. Now that um, we found out from our buddy Sir Isaac the Fig Newton. That's not his nickname, but I kind of like call him that. So anyway, Sir Isaac Newton talked to us and he says, listen, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. All right. So for the action of um, propellant shooting out the back, you have that equal reaction going forward. But it's not that simple with rockets because you have to worry about the uh, the power to weight ratio. In other words, how heavy this thing is, you need enough power to get that thrust. So you need enough propellants. Now, I have a little rocket that we created, very simple little rocket actually. But it's a pill bottle that has a uh, cap to it. But a cap that does that, the snap. You want a snap cap, okay? Not the child-proof ones that I can't even open up. <laughs> because then they're going to have a whole little explosion that we don't want. We want this to be able to build enough pressure so that the pressure will be the propellant to send our thrust forward. All right. One idea was, Dan, did you ever have heartburn? Yeah, after too much White Castle and Taco Bell, I've had some heartburn. And going to my medicine cabinet, I come across something called Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer helps, um, it's like an antacid. Anti mean going against. It's going to go against the acid, so it's going to cool the acid. So what's also cool about this antacid, this Alka-Seltzer, is it fizzes in water. It releases bubbles, like <laughs> bubbles of carbon dioxide, and they go boom. Okay. So what we're going to do is build some pressure in here. How long does it take before that pressure builds up and it goes pop? We have a whole bunch of hypotheses. Uh, you over there had about 13 seconds, you had about 17 seconds, you said a minute, like a minute, wow, we'll see, that gives me enough time to get out of the way at least. Somebody said one second, as soon as I put it down, I'm in trouble, let's put it that way. I better wear my safety goggles. 10 milliliters of, uh, of water first, and put that in there. In there. We're going to put it in the pill bottle. Place, okay, it's kind of cool because there's a ridge right here that's going to hold the Alka-Seltzer I mean, as long as I don't drop it in, like that we don't oh, want that. Yeah. Close the cap. Now, what I actually have to do is seal the cap. You heard that pop. The reaction is not going to happen until the water starts dissolving the alka seltzer, right? Now the question is to see how fast. We have a timer going, okay? Three, two, one. Dan, get out of the way. So we're at how many seconds so far? Six. <laughs> Did you Why don't we add more water and see if the what the results are are this time? We had 10 milliliters. Let's double that. This time with more water. Our experiment is to find out if it's going to build up a longer amount of pressure and if that means it's going to be a higher launch. Mm -hmm. All right. Two, Two one. one. And there it is, Dan County. Hopefully it's more than six seconds. And six And? Two trials, we lifted off two, two launches. One had 10 milliliters of water, one had 20 milliliters of water. Believe it or not, uh, the first launch had 
um, seven seconds before launch and it went about four and a half feet. Okay? The second launch went 11 seconds, that's with a little more water, okay? double the amount of water, it went 11 seconds and it went about six feet up. Okay? About six and a half feet up. All right? Try another propellant. We're gonna try vinegar and sodium bicarbonate, otherwise known as baking soda. Okay. When these two combine, there's a chemical reaction that releases carbon dioxide. Four, three, two, one. You follow it. We always, in science, we change our variable when we're experimenting. Uh, the variable could be your propellant which we changed, um, we went from, we experimented with uh, sodium bicarbonate and vinegar, and then we also experimented with water and Alka-Seltzer. Now we're gonna change uh, a different variable. This time we're gonna change the type of rocket. I have, back in my day, when I bought cameras, and I had to take pictures, I had to buy something called film. Back in my day, before it was digital, so this actually is how your film came, in a little film canister. Tighter the snap, it'll build up more pressure, and it's lighter so you have a better weight to ra uh, power ratio. There it goes. Ah. That was good. Yo, it almost hit the ropes. And now we're adding a payload to a rocket. Now a payload, we know, is anything that the rocket takes up. And today we have a brave little soul. Get a little close up on our brave little Billy. This is Billy the Lego. He's about to take one small step for Legos, one giant leap for Lego kind. Three, Three two, two, one. one. It's over. I, snit, I sealed it. Oh. Ah! Down here. Billy. He's face down. No problem. <laughs> Man down. I might have to give CPR. Oh my! Oh my! What the? Oh, oh Billy! <laughs> Billy won! 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 Try this at home uh, without parental supervision. I'm going to launch a rocket off my hand. Yeah. Pressure's building. Nasty. Ew. Starting. Okay. I need the cap. <laughs> <laughs> take five. What's that mean, take five? I'm saying, he said it. Take five, let's take another five minutes. It's already on. If we take another five minutes, class is over. Class is over. All right.